previously on Justin Television, last episode, Justin was talking about consistencies in life in college, what personally to be consistent, to stay consistent, and what consistently is mostly about. And today's video for his YouTube channel, it's Justin's personal day off, October 25th years. He's only absent on October 25th for a personal day off, day off from college and work. So stay tuned for more Justin Television's videos and enjoy you guys. Stay tuned for more of Justin Television's upcoming YouTube videos. So stay tuned for more. October 25th, 2019. Today in this video is just my personal day off. I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons why I chose this day off and what I do for my day off is, is not that exciting or simple. This is just like my regular day off from school, right? Cause you're allowed, you're permitted to be absent from college one day out of the whole school year. You could be, you could be late a couple of times, but in, in my case, for me, since I'm a serious, consistent hard worker, I just like to keep my attendance very serious. So for me, personally, I just love being absent one day out of the whole school year so I won't miss my work or my grade or anything because I could be nervous or anxious like when, when midterms are coming, finals are coming and I don't want to miss work because if I miss work I'm going to slack and be inconsistent like I said before I'm never going to be inconsistent I'm going to try my best to stay consistent in life because I'm very consistent in life so yeah today I just chose this day off because um, you're in my opinion you're allowed or permitted to be absent from college or work at least one day out of the whole year I understand we all get sick and a lot of things come up sickness death in the family your loss any any multiple reasons why you choose this day to be absent like consistently a lot of shit happens things happen shit happens you're sick your grandpa died so on and so on I get it but in my opinion, for me, since I'm very consistent with my perfect attendance since high school, I was so consistent about keeping my attendance a good record of perfect attendance and shit. So yeah, I just love perfect attendance. I just love working hard, stay consistent, and do something that I'm really, really proud of. And, and let's not forget, I love coming to school every day. I love making friends. I love eating good lunches. It's just like a regular school day when you're a little kid going to elementary school, middle school. You carry your boot bag, you walk to school with your friends, or you even ride your bicycle to school. Because one of these one of these days in the future, I'm going to get myself a new bike and I'm going to ride to school every day. Because, I, I mean, I love walking, but sometimes I could be lazy and just like take the bus or the train when I get lazy sometimes. But in the future, before I finish college, I'm gonna buy myself a new bicycle at Target. I saw a brand new red bike and I wanna get myself a bicycle. I mean, I could use my skateboard to ride to school, but it could be a little bit more dangerous because bicycles are, to me, I think bicycles are more safer than skateboards. Because what if you run a skateboard across the street, in the street, and you could get, you could get run over by a car? with a skateboard that's not that's not safe but if you have a bike or any other mobilities to get around it might be more safe but anyway enough about bikes this is about my personal day off my personal day off today friday october 25th friday october 25th so you guys it's just like my regular day off today 
today I had to wake up early because I had a doctor's appointment today. That's the reason, that's another reason why I didn't go to college today. Today I had a regular doctor's appointment to get a shot in my knee. And, and then I went to the group, I went to the deli, to the to the mini uh, convenience store to get some junk food, some snacks, some junk food for me and my mom. Because I'm actually at my mother's house. Because technically, every weekend I just go to my mother's house to bring her to bring her stuff for her house, like dishwashing soap. Uh, a little bit of food, a little bit of snacks, or anything she needs, because I love helping out my family. Because since I live alone, and sometimes I visit my family during the weekends to see how they're doing, to make sure they're okay. Like I used to see back in the day when my grandmother was still alive, like in the beginning of 2009, I would always go to my grandmother's house after high school. Because in the year 2009, I was in high school. So every year after school, after high school, I go straight to my grandmother's house. I take the bus or the train to go to my grandmother's house to make sure she's okay. Like how she's doing, does she need help or she wants me to do a little bit of her chores and stuff because I need to check in on my family to make sure they're okay and sometimes my family checks in on me to make sure I'm gonna be okay because it's important to take care of your family and yourself and no matter what happens to you just work hard and stay consistent in life you guys just do the right thing so you can be in a good pattern of your life so yeah just do that you guys trust me it's gonna work if you always do the right thing and stay positive and be consistent your life is gonna go easy as pie. Okay, my personal day off, Friday, October 25th, 2019. Like I said before, every year on October 25th, I never go to school or work on that day because I just chose one day to have my personal day off so I could sleep in, relax, recharge, and then the next day I come to school feeling much better, full of recharge, and get ready to get back to work. So yeah, you guys, you guys, Comment down my YouTube channel if you think this video is very satisfying. Comment down my YouTube channel and what what do you guys like to do on your personal day off? Do you like to sleep? Do you like to eat? You just want to relax for a day? Because many people ask themselves, man, I wish I could take the day off for one day out of the whole school year. Which you guys, all of you guys out there, you can. You can take the day off one day, but you cannot be taking the day off consistently though. Because if, if, when you're in college, okay, if you're in high school or in college, you cannot be excessively absent. You have to go to school consistently every day, consistently every day. When you're in high school or college, you gotta go every single day consistently. Even if you're sick, you have to go, no matter what. So your grades won't drop, you won't get in trouble by your professors, and you gotta make sure you're doing the right thing in life. You gotta go to school every day, no matter what. Even if you're sick, if you're a Okay, if you're a little bit sick, you could just go. You could just go. You could go to school when you're sick, if you're a little bit sick. But if you're really, really sick, like if you have a high fever, stomach ache, or throwing up, or any kind of sickness you have, like cold and flu, or if you get a high fever, then you can stay home if you're really, really sick. But if you're a little bit sick, that you're not like highly contagious or anything, just go, just go. Just go when you're a little bit sick. Just go, just go. Cause me, personally, ever since high school, I was taking my attendance seriously. I was taking my grades seriously. And look at me now, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a college student. I'm a promising college student, trying to do the right thing in my life. Trying to get people's respect, their wishes, their trust, and their responsibility in order to do the right thing in life, in order to do the right thing. So yeah. Me personally, I love going to school consistently consistently every day and I love going to work consistently every day. But once in a while, I feel like I deserve to have at least one day off out of the whole year. And then I could, the next day, I could go back to school or work feeling fully energized and recharged. Okay, you guys, I hope you find this video very satisfying. I know it is for me. Comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe. And what was your best day off you prefer to choose? You can be absent for one day from school and you can be absent for work one day as well. But in my opinion, I prefer to be absent one day out of the whole year so I won't slack or miss anything or fall behind or make my mind feel the clutter. I just like to keep working and stay consistent all the time because I don't like to miss work. I just love doing my work. That's what I love to do. Just do my work 
go to school consistently every day and do the best you can in order to stay consistent in life. Okay, you guys, hope you find this video very satisfying. Comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe and let me know what was the best day off you ever had when it was your day off, when it's your day off of your birthday, your, your, your wonderful days off from school or work. You take a day off for one day and then the next day you feel all better and recharged. Just leave a comment down on my YouTube channel and subscribe and what was the best day off you ever had in your life. Elementary school, middle school, high school, college, work, you get to permit it to be one day off out of the whole year. For me, I don't know about you guys out there, but for me, I think I should only, I should only be absent one day out of the whole year. And then every other day, just continue working consistently. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe and let me know what was the best day off you ever had in your life. What was the best day off you recommend of taking for at least one day out of the whole year. Okay, see you guys next time. It was fun talking to you guys. Again, comment down my YouTube channel and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Friday, October 25th. Friday, October 25th. See you guys next time.